Hey everyone, I recently finished completing the Alive animation course for Blender and I wanted to give everyone my thoughts on it. This will be from a beginner's point of view as I am not a professional or have any experience in animation before. The reason I got this course was because I wanted to learn how to animate properly. I couldn't find many resources that teach Blender online for free. Before taking this course, I didn't know how to animate properly. I would just make simple poses or copy references. So my goal is to make an anime style scene and I saw this course takes a more stylized approach. So I thought it would be perfect for what I was looking for. I chose this course since it claimed it was the most extensive animation course out there. And after completing it, I think it lives up to that claim. So what is the Alive course? This is the a 3D animation course of Blender made by Pyrrhic from P2 Design. He's a professional 3D animator. He mostly animated in the game industry. You can check out his YouTube channel to see his other videos. He teaches you other things using Blender. He, in this course, he teaches you the fundamentals of animation and how to properly animate using Blender. He goes through from beginner to advanced level animation from start to finish step by step. You can watch his video on his channel to get an explanation of what the course is about. There's also reviews that talk about the course details on YouTube. You can search for those as well. This video will only focus on what I personally thought was good or bad while going through this source myself. First, I'll talk about the things I liked about this course. First, the price and what you get for purchasing this. At the time, I bought it for $80 and I thought it was very reasonable for the amount of content I was getting. Honestly, with the amount of work put in, it should be more, but it was well worth the price. Next, the pacing of the videos was just right for me. I didn't feel like it was too fast or too slow and was able to keep up and follow everything that he was talking about. He gives a view of video of everything he does. You can follow every step the same way he does if you want. And he doesn't skip anything suddenly leaving you guessing what he did, which is good. I also like that he explained the concepts and not just telling you what to click and do. I think it's very important to know how and why something is behaving in the program and not just copying and following steps. So understanding the concepts will allow you to create your own ideas and figure out new methods of your own. Not that this is very well explained in the course. He uses good videos to demonstrate and how something works. For example, he explains how rotation works, what overshoot is, what arcs are, what anticipation is. Some of these concepts are not related to how to animate, but concepts to make your animation better and be more alive. And not this was really well done. So I also liked how the structure of the course was. I liked how he had us animate something simple like the bouncing ball to a squirrel and then to something very complex like the punch combo. The gradual process is good since he shows that I'm improving with every lesson after the next course. Every skill learned in the previous exercise is applied to the next one. So the controls and concepts learned from the bouncing ball are applied to the squirrel and the pose creation from the squirrel is applied to the character combo combination. I think it's rare to see someone teach and show something complex like the combo just because it takes a long time and I appreciate the effort and time put in to making those videos. Using most tutorials stop at having something simple and I feel it really shows that we can animate anything after we complete this course. He goes into a lot of detail on explaining the poses of the reference image. I thought it was great since it's important to know what the body is doing exactly when in motion. He did it with the ball, the squirrel, and the character. And he also touches building a scene even though it, this is an animation course. He didn't have to add it since it was animation focused, but I thought it was nice that he added it since he says learning to build an environment will enhance your animation, which I think is true. He teaches you how to model the environment and all the effects shown in the animation trailer, which was great since this is exactly what I'm looking for for my projects. So now on to the bad. There's not really much negative point I can say since this course is very well done. So the videos could be pre better presented with the placement of the reference poses when we're creating the poses for our characters. It would have been nice to include the references as a separate file instead of putting on top of the video. So sometimes it blocks what he's doing as he's explaining because he's explaining while he's doing the poses. So having a separate file would make it easier for me to create the pose since it's not in like a small corner. I mean, I can look at the actual file since he does provide the files, but I don't think that would be practical when you're animating because you're going to be looking at preferences mostly and not another person's file. Another thing I thought that would be helpful was to label the poses that he has in the reference images. It was hard to figure out whether the pose were from the front or side view during the combo animation. Since the character moves around in a 3D space, the view changes from pose to pose. So those are the only issues that I can really think of that I, find that I personally ran into. So overall, it was a great experience and I didn't really run into anything else.
next I would like to go over some of the things that people said that they thought was was bad so the first thing is that he does have a thick accent but I didn't really have a problem with this you can see on his YouTube video what kind of accent he has and if you can see if you understand his voice or not he does have subtitles for all his videos so I don't really see how that could be a problem and the other thing is that the course is very long it has a lot of videos it's a total of 32 hours which can be daunting for some people people can find it hard to keep motivated but uh, I didn't really have a problem with this since I was really motivated to learning each new concept. He does try to keep each video compact as possible which is around 10 minutes per video and I think if you cut out all the concept videos where it teaches you the foundations you can probably go through it a lot faster but honestly I don't know how anyone can learn animation properly without learning all the concepts. I feel that if you're really serious and passionate about learning animation then you should put in the time and effort and go through all of it. So next I'm going to talk about the mindset that you should have before buying and going into this course. So this course is not a complete beginner course for people who has never touched Blender before. So I already had learned most of the basics on how to use a Blender interface before going into this. So I went in, uh, had a smooth transition to get right in and start understanding and start animating. So you would need to have some type of previous knowledge of how to use Blender before going into this. You need to know how to navigate an interface, uh, be familiar with how to move things around, and be familiar with the rig. You don't need to know how to create a rig, but you should at least know how to move the bones around. I mean, you technically can start this without knowing, but you're gonna be stuck in like the first chapter trying to figure out where everything is. And the next thing is, um, don't expect to understand everything on one watch through. So I had, there's some videos that I had to watch multiple times to understand. These are very advanced topics. So I think it's normal that I didn't understand or most people wouldn't understand just watching it once. So unless you already have some kind of 3D software background, uh, expect to watch videos more than once. And the last thing is, you should go in this course knowing that it's going to take a lot of time to complete it. The videos may be 10 minutes long, but to actually animate and do the section of that part may take a few hours since you need to get used to everything at first. And I imagine everyone, most people going for this course are beginners and has never really got used to animating. So just don't expect that you're going to be animating and moving the stuff around as fast as he does he shows in the video. So just so you know that it took around around two months to complete this whole course and then another month to create that character intro animation. So now onto the things I would like to see added on in the future for this course. So I would like to see a video if there are any tips or techniques to properly animate facial expressions for a character. So facial expressions was never covered in this course. Um, the characters used don't really have mouths or eyebrows or any facial features. So there's no chance that it was discussed about. And the other thing is uh, clothes and hair. It would also be nice to animate, learn how to animate clothes and hair properly. It would be nice to have a video of how the process is done manually, not using any add-ons or physics. Since the most some of the times using physics or add-ons don't really give you the effect that you want and you may have yeah, to do it manually. So overall, uh, this course I would recommend to any beginner who wants to learn animation in Blender. It's a really a great resource and truly one of the kind. Thank you for listening. I hope my thoughts on this course coming from a beginner were somewhat helpful and I'll see you guys next time.